Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. Today I am testing a theory that one of you lovely viewers gifted me. Um, you're the person who it was, and I'm sorry I didn't write down your name, um, was saying that to stop the bleeding of the colour, um, to not gesso it, but to use a sealer. So um, what I've done is I have done that. I have done a really thick coat of um, spray varnish on there. And I'll show you why. Uh, so this is the one I did the other day. And I gessoed the sticker. And you can see that orange centre has come up through the gesso and through the paint so it actually looks okay in this one I'm not overly mortified at it it kind of gives it a different depth not overly enthused wouldn't do it deliberately but not going to throw it away because of it so so today um, I am going to use colors once more that um, really if the orange comes through it's not going to be a life or death color freak out um, so I am using premix titanium white from Reeves uh, and I'm going to use up the last of my Semco bright orange and fun fuchsia and then also I have my premixed Reno art now the orange fuchsia and red have silicon in them and the white does not so I'm just going to do a flip cut on this and um, what I'm going to do is I'm still not sure um, uh, which one, which one, which one, which one? I'm gonna grab a cup. Now, these cups are biodegradable ones. So, although the acrylic paint that goes in them is not particularly biodegradable, the cup is. So, how's it get any better? So, with flip cups, um, the white sinks through colours, so putting the white in first. Also, it also creates that bottom white that um, gets left behind when you pour it out. So it's the white that gets left behind and not the other colours. So, whoops, this Reno art is kind of similar to the Semco Burgundy that I used in the tile flip cup that I did a while ago. Um, put a bit more white in there. Looks like the orange definitely is the lighter colour. I'm just going to use up all of the orange and the fuchsia because as much as I like them, there's not much left. So we may end up with a whole heap run off the edge and that's totally fine too. Loving the look of the cup, that's for sure. And a last dollop of red. Now somebody has sent me a um, a recipe, a calculation 
for how much paint you need for how big a surface and I'm going to sit down and actually have a look at that calculate it out play with it see what that looks like uh, but I haven't done that yet so can you see the, the cup it's got some pretty stuff going on flip it over pop it down Going for a skitty. Are we ready? Let's see what goes on under here. One, two, three. Oh, yum. That's lovely. I like it. What's that plane doing? Get rid of those air bubbles to start us off with. Yummy cells as well. Okay. I was watching another artist um, today and she actually tapes off the back of her records when she does it. So that she gets a nice clean back but not only does she take them off but she also then paints the whole back I think that's a bit of a waste of time if you're gonna I suppose it gives you a smooth even back but each to their own we all get choice in this and that my dears is what I love about being alive is the choices that we have we all have choice all right oh, just a little bit more over down the bottom here that's lovely i like it and it has a lot of air bubbles so let's get that torch back out again So what the torch does is it pops the air bubbles by sort of blowing over it. But it also warms the paint. And um, by warming the plate, paint, it gives the silicon a thinner um, thinner viscosity, a runnier viscosity for the silicon to come up through the paint. one thing when I know when I was when I sprayed the vinyl directly I did notice it kind of warped a little bit so um, just be be aware of that um, and perhaps when you're setting it down make sure the whole thing is supported um, not just in certain places oh look we do have some fuchsia there it is I thought it was just an orange and red one but no fuchsia has come through in places one of the things I'm going to play with in another video is the um, densities or I can't remember, even remember the words um, how uh, 
like the variation so like which one would sync against which one like what order creates the most cells etc so i'm gonna have a play with that but i don't think we've got a problem with the number of cells on this one this is beautiful i love it so let me get you down and show you what we've got okay so let's start over here with the fuchsia it's just this dollop of difference it's really cool i like it and there are so many cells in this painting going around the outside So there's those ones in the middle, those tiny little ones. <laughs> you know what? I love it when you tell me what you can see in my paintings. That you guys always see things that I don't see, but when I go back and look at it, um, very grateful to the lady the other day who posted about seeing a fish, and she put in the time that. Of the video so like if it was at um, 11 minutes and 47 seconds on the right hand side you put 11 colon 47 and then I can go to that spot and I can look at exactly what you're seeing which is very cool so that's been a fun one I am going not going to post this straight away I will wait and see um, how it dries and whether the orange comes through in the center there there is there is some white where the orange would be so we will be able to see it come up hopefully um, you kind of your stick is going to kind of come up in that middle part there um, just if you notice you can't actually see the center point on this painting and that is because um, I put a piece of sellotape across the back and um, it's um, so it's filled the hole up rather than becoming a plug hole and sucking it all out once it dries that paint will dry to show the hole but that's cool it just shows that it's a record no problem um, and it also gives you the point where you can put the clock hands through if you choose to make it into a clock how does it get any better than that all right thanks so much for joining me and I will be back with an update once it is dried all right so this is a pretty much dry as you can see it's still a little bit damp in places but there's no sign of the um, discoloration coming through. Like we've got some cells right here on the edge of the um, label. And there's no sign of those being different on either side of the label line. So I'm quite pleased with that whole sealing, spraying it with varnish first. So I'm uh, going to keep going that until it fails, unless it fails. And if it doesn't fail, that's my plan of attack because it's quick and it's easy. And uh, what else is possible? I'm just noticing here though, there's some interesting little blotches. Oh, nobody will notice them because I think this one's going to get resined. This is beautiful. If I can get it clean, clean enough of silicon, I'm going to resin it. So thanks for joining me. Thank you for the tip to seal it. And what else is possible? Bye-bye.